guys, what's up? It's 5 a.m. right now, and I'm headed to San Bernardino. All right, so I'm just gonna fill up my tank, and that should give me about 250 miles of range. We have about 60 miles left until we reach San Bernardino. All right, guys, so I just made it to San Bernardino, California. It was about an hour and 10 minutes, and I think 70 miles. I took the highway the entire time, and it was absolutely freezing. But anyways, here's the plan for today. So from here, I'm going to off-road up to Silverwood Lake, and then I'm gonna off-road from Silverwood Lake to Lake Arrowhead, and then I'm gonna off-road from Lake Arrowhead to Big Bear Lake. And I'm guessing it'll be like a total of 50 miles of off-road, but I have no idea how difficult these trails are or if there's gonna be any challenges along the way. I don't know, so I have no idea how long it's gonna take, but if I do get done with it pretty quickly, I also have a lot more trails that I do wanna explore out here. This is also like my first actual long solo adventure, so I'm really, really excited. It's still 7 a.m. I left at 5 a.m., so we still have like 10 hours of off-road riding to do. So hopefully you'll enjoy this video. So I've gone 53 miles on this full tank, which means I have about 200 miles left. Oh, frick. Jeez. The road is starting to get very, very rocky. I should be able to make it. The view is also really good. I'm gonna fly up the drone in a minute. Well, I just got to this like clearing and the view up here is absolutely amazing. I mean, check that out. I'm gonna go try and find a shaded flat area because I need to eat breakfast. I need to take off this inner jacket because it's starting to get really hot. I need, and I need to drink some water and charge my phone. I found a nice flat clearing, so I'm gonna eat my breakfast now. I still have a lot of ground to cover. I'm barely like halfway to Silverwood Lake and then from there I have to go to Lake Arrowhead and then from there I have to go about 45 miles to Big Bear, so I better get moving. I remember doing this part with my dad last time I came here and it's about to get really, really rocky.
Okay guys, this is starting to get sketchy. I'm sure the camera doesn't show it, but this is really steep downhill. I'm almost positive I'm gonna fall when I go down that. Let's hope not though. So I found an off-road road that runs parallel to the highway that I was planning to take. So that should take me past Silverwood Lake and towards um, Lake Arrowhead. Here's Lake Arrowhead. Well, I just got back onto the main road, so I'm gonna try to find some lookout points for some good views. Then I'll probably grab something to eat, and then I'll go on the long stretch to Big Bear. So apparently I drove myself into some type of uh, OHV riding area. There's a whole crap ton of Jeeps and these super decked out off-roaders that were driving up this pretty crazy hill. So I'm gonna go check that out. mostly out of OHV territory now and this dirt road should keep going and take me over to Lake Arrowhead and then after that I'll be going to Big Bear but I'll probably go into town quickly to get some food real quick and then I'll head to Big Bear. I finally gotten out of that OHV area. I couldn't really get any tripod shots of me riding because there were so many ATVs and UTVs, whatever they're called. But I'm really close to Lake Arrowhead right now. I'm gonna go pick up some lunch and then I'll head over to Big Bear. I still have like five hours left before it gets dark. It's 12 p.m. right now. So time shouldn't be an issue. As you can see, I am back on the dirt road. So I went to McDonald's, got myself some lunch, and I don't think I'll be able to make it all the way to Big Bear. I mean, I still have like 30 miles to go, and I just don't see how it's viable. So I'll just keep going. I'll try to find a place where I can um, relax, eat lunch, 
and then I'll have to decide to turn back or just keep going to Big Bear. I'm not sure. It'll probably be dark in about three hours. So yeah, I'm cutting it pretty close. The trail is getting pretty crazy. I mean, look at these rocks. I think I have to turn back. Not only is it getting dark, but the rest of this trail is getting to a point where I don't want to try it alone. Again, I'm sure the camera doesn't really do this justice, but these are huge rocks. And I mean, like, look at the size of that boulder over there. Yeah, this is literally impossible. There is no way I'm trying this alone. Not with a dirt bike, but with an adventure bike. This road is really, really sketchy. I am so surprised I haven't fallen at all today. That's like unheard of, especially with this type of rocky, practically black diamond trails but I guess that's a good thing I am so out of juice I am like exhausted so I'm heading back I'll find a place to eat and I'll get on the road the paved road and I'll go back home flat area. This will be my last stop for the day. I'll eat my McDonald's lunch. Yeah, that'll be it.
I was just flying my drone and I saw an upside down Jeep. So I'm gonna go check it out real quick. So I got to film the entire recovery process for that Jeep. I have so much footage that I'll just leave the best parts in this video, but I'm gonna make a whole separate video on how that Jeep was recovered and what happened and all of that. But yeah, that was pretty insane. I'm gonna head home now. This was a really fun adventure though.